thank you everyone for joining. I'm Ashley Garcia. For those that have not met me, I'm the Senior Customer Success Lead here at Security Gate. And today I'm gonna be going through actually our last two product releases. Um, and these really came at the end of uh, July and the first week of August. And so um, the last few releases we've been sharing with you guys just via email, we've incorporated some videos and blog posts as well. Um, but just to provide a different format of delivering the same information um, we wanted to offer. And so we're gonna kind of test these um, new um, ways of delivering information back to our clients and prospects. Um, and uh, this is our first live demo. So thank you for those that have joined. We have Mick on the line as well from Security Gate. So if there is something that um, I'm unable to uh, answer, I will uh, you know, have him chime in, but um, this should be quick and, and easy and we'll be using my demo account for that. So everyone should see my demo account. On the demo account, we have a couple of updates here just on the dashboard page. You'll see uh, that within our Maturity Insights section, we've actually actually uh, refreshed our ratings area. So um, it's a little bit of different look and feel cosmetic um, from, let me scroll down to our compliance. So before we kind of had um, a dial here um, showing those scores and we'll be continuing to provide updates to our dashboard view. Uh, within this, first um, version of a refresh, we've also had um, in our most recent release, a um, more consistency around where these um, noti notifications are according to your scores. And so that's one piece that I wanted to kind of point out. If you are using our mature maturity assessments, um, you would have this insight dashboard as well. Um, not in this last product release, but I do think it's a very valuable update to point out. Our top threads are now um, clickable. So if you were to click on um, that top thread, for example, the insiders, you now can see uh, what contributed to that. So you'll be able to see your entity or facility um, that it's associated to, the assessment, the assignment, uh, uh, assessment name, as well as the threat and then the question. And then if, if you have the remediation workflow, if that remediation has been assigned or not. Again, this is my test environment. So I just have some um, sample data provided in that. Uh, so that's gonna be kind of a general update that we have. I wanna cover a couple of other general updates that we had within our settings section, actually, I'm sorry, within our health section, um, good to know, but we have the ability to provide feedback to directly to our product team within the platform. So this contact support section is by feedback on the issue requests on the platform to be able to provide here. This is open platform. The new session admin is actually on our Gmail. So look at the app on our system. All these pages. I'm not sure if they provide it here. We're not able to on our Gmail of the provided system. So thank you. Remember, see how we're able to provide that to us. We go ahead and back in real quick to the entities page. You were really garbled. It just now came out. You were really garbled for the last maybe 45 seconds. Sorry. Oh, no. Okay. Um, was it the contact support area? Pretty much, yeah, it? pretty much the entire thing in the contact support area. Sorry. Okay. Oh, thanks, Brent. Let me um, re resubmit that uh, or go through that again. So contact support. Um, this feature has been here within the platform. The piece that we added in this last product release was a confirmation email. So now you'll know um, that the feedback or comments that you submit through the platform have been received and then are being reviewed by our team. Okay, I'm gonna jump into our entity section. So on the entity section, um, this area here, which is now called our security gate control posture, this was previously labeled as roadmap. 
So again, some feedback from um, prospects and customers around um, just enhancing some of the terminology that we're using. So we've gone with the control posture. Um, you can click on a control posture, which will pop up a window. Again, this is what you are familiar with um, and seeing the different uh, assessment types that you have here up at the top, if you have more than one. And then um, the, the different families of, of controls we have here. Um, we actually have the ability to click through on these. So if we were to select the cyber policies and practices, now that this has a drill down, we'll be able to see within this um, actual control what our responses were. So there are the sub controls and then you can expand each sub control, see the question number and the question itself with your response. So this was another piece of feedback that we had received when um, our existing customers complete their assessments and they look at the roadmap, which is valuable, um, but they need to be able to tie this back to the responses that they provided within their most recent um, assessment. So that's one that's just um, an enhanced feature within the platform. The export capability has all, um, always existed, which gives you a PDF version. But now we've expanded this report to actually include the details of that drill down. So we'll let that load. And here's that report. So this is the view we've always been familiar with. The roadmap or now security posture. And then your additional pages are gonna be that breakdown. So it's by um, identify, detect, protect. You'll have your control family, the sub control, the question and your response. And we'll X out of this piece. And then I have a couple of more um, updates. They're gonna be within the assessment section. We have a new module for those that are um, going to be uh, required to follow the compliance for cybersecurity maturity model certification or otherwise known as CMMC. We now have that module. Um, so check out your account and um, that is a subscription-based solution. So depending on your subscription, I'd be happy to review that with you if it for whatever reason is not in your um, account and we can talk through um, what that looks like to get it to get that added but in here you'll see a couple new things that i wanted to show which we're really excited about um, the first one is this review required this is a toggle this is an option that when you are setting up a new assessment you would need to toggle on or off depending on if you want that review process incorporated into the workflow. Um, any of your assessments that you have prior to this feature being rolled out or the creation of this uh, new assessment, um, you can unfortunately cannot add this in, but any assessment moving forward, you would be able to add this feature, which just adds an additional layer. Um, some of the feedback we were receiving is, once you complete an assessment and they um, confirm that they've answered all the questions, they close the assessment, you can't make any changes. Well, this allows that additional step so that there is a review of those submitted responses so that you can then confirm uh, what the responses are. And then if you need to, you can send it back for, um, for changes or edits to that. I'm gonna go ahead and just give this one a name. And then I wanna show you one more feature that we've added in. So if we were to select an assessment that was already created previously and has a completed assessment associated to it, for example, I have a test um, account or facility and I've already completed an OT cyber maturity assessment on that. It 
within the system knows that there's one that already exists, I can copy the answers from that completed assessment. Um, should I need to, again, maybe go back and make changes to that assessment, or maybe I'm doing um, you know, my Q3 assessment and I know that there are only slight changes I need to make to the assessment, this is um, a workflow to be able to do that. And then once you toggle this on, which says I do want to copy from a completed assessment, the system's going to filter out any of your completed assessments that you had. Mine was already called OT maturity. And so I would select this. And what this is going to do is create a new assessment, but copy over the answers from that previous assessment. And when I go over to open this one up, oh, I'm, actually, I needed to do one more step in here. Let me just go ahead and do that really quick. I need, because I'm gonna complete this on my own. Um, oh, there it goes. My system's just a little slow, sorry. So you'll see here in this new assessment that I just created with you guys, um, it's gone ahead and copied over the responses from that previous assessment. You can go in and you can make some changes um, to the responses that were there and that's in, in that. So that would complete our most recent product releases. Just to recap, we have the assessment review capability. So this is again, when you're creating a new assessment, you have the ability to toggle on as an admin, um, the ability to review that assessment and send it back for additional uh, comments or responses uh, that need to be updated. Another major update that we had was we renamed our cyber roadmap to the security gate or SG control posture. And within that, the ability to drill down to see those capabilities is, uh, is built in with the PDF report expansion. We also incorporated a new module, which is the cybersecurity maturity model certification or CMMC. And then some of the general updates that we had was a refresh to our dashboard, um, the confirmation email for contact support when providing feedback through the platform, and then the filters, which is what we experienced when we were creating a new assessment um, with the ability to copy the responses from a previous assessment. Um, all of those were included into our late July, early August product releases. And if you have any questions around more information um, or workflows within the platform, I'd be happy to schedule one-on-one -on -one time with you guys. Please um, reach out if you, if you do have any questions. And I'm going to take one second to review a couple of the comments here. Oh, okay. This was from previous. Um, the connectivity, I'm sorry that, that we had that. And I, I believe I recapped um, that portion that was, you were unable to hear. Okay. We lost your, your uh, audio just for a second there. You're on, you're on mute. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, is there, are there any questions around what we've shown today? If not, um, definitely I will be available you guys can contact me directly. Be more than happy to set up a one-on-one -on -one, um, with anybody to go through um, a specific workflow of the, that's within your own account 
um, or we can um, even look at relook at some of the most recent releases or even the, the past releases that we've uh, provided some videos on. Uh, just want to make sure that you guys have the latest of what security gate is up to and um, being able to leverage those features within the platform. Okay. Well, that will be and conclude. Um, yes, uh, copy feature is, is a great one. Um, we had that as something that, you know, kind of was coming up in, in multiple scenarios. So we're really excited that we have that ability, um, the copy feature, and then within this last release, being able to do the review. So it's another way um, of incorporating an additional step when you are taking that assessment and just kind of, uh, you know, eliminating um, the need to either, you know, manually recreate an assessment again, um, or, uh, you know, quickly make some changes when you need to. Same with the review capability, um, all great uh, pieces. So uh, I encourage everyone to continue to use those, um, provide us feedback on your experience, um, as we're always looking for that feedback. And I'd be more than happy to bridge that back to our product team. And again, thank you guys for your time. Really appreciate you joining us for this live demo. Sorry for the audio issues um, and happy to answer any additional questions that you might have. Thank you again. Have a great week. Bye guys.